the handheld rust removal laser, which makes rust literally evaporate. I could not believe what I was seeing when I first came across this device on YouTube. A laser that cleanly removes rust and other surface contaminants without eating away the metal underneath. When aimed at a metal surface, the dirt layer and any oxides underneath will absorb the energy and evaporate. The metal underneath will not absorb the laser energy, leaving nothing but a clean surface ready for welding and painting. So how does it work? Well, the system uses short pulses of laser light at 1000 watts, producing microplasma bursts along with thermal pressure and shock waves to sublimate the rust and separate it from the metal without damaging the piece. Now, I know what you're thinking as I wondered it myself and the answer is no. This will not vaporize human flesh. Amazingly, aiming the laser at your finger doesn't even hurt at all. Material removal is halted when the laser is applied to a clean surface because it only sublimates rust. Sublimation is the act of changing the state of metal to a gas form, skipping the liquid phase. The device can be set for a certain depth to skim away surface rust, paint and filler, leaving a prepared surface for work. What would have normally taken someone hours to clean and prepare for welding or painting is now done in no time at all. What makes this laser device even better is the fact that it has an onboard hoover system that immediately sucks up the vaporized rust, making the entire rust removal process clean and simple. Unfortunately, there is a rather large drawback, the cost. This state-of-the-art device is not sitting on some retail shelf somewhere for $100. The cheapest version on the market is a much smaller, less powerful 20 watt unit that starts at around $80,000 and the 1000 watt unit will set you back nearly a half a million dollars. So it's fair to say that laser rust removal is probably out of the reach of most panel beaters and mechanics trying to restore cars. But I recall in the 80s that computer CD writer drives were selling for $50,000 and it was just a few years later that we were installing them in PCs for under a thousand. So give it a few years and I bet you'll be able to buy this device at your local hardware store for Father's Day. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.